And so dear friends, now you will learn how to run PlayStation games on modern PC. In this particular video I'm going to touch specifically on the Soul Reaver game, but this could be applied to most other games though. This is one of the best games of the 90s, and it's always been a little naughty, so I had to fiddle around a bit to get her to run smoothly. First of all, I would like to note that this game was both on the PlayStation and on the Dreamcast. There is already a full walkthrough on my channel, who have not seen it, you can follow the link in the description. To record this very walkthrough, I used a Dreamcast console emulator. In short, I installed the RetroArch and used the emulator from there. But in this particular video I want to first of all show a couple of options for launching this game with specifically PlayStation console emulators. Also a series of videos will follow shortly where I will show how to install different emulators and use them. In case you want to use a PlayStation disc image, then this is an old EPSCS emulator version 2.0.5, also a DuckStation emulator. In the case of the Dreamcast that I recommend the most, it is the Naomi Dreamcast. Let's get started. It's an EPSCS emulator. To launch the Soul Reaver from here I use the video plugin Pete's OpenGL2 Driver 2.9. Plugin settings are recommended to be set the same as you see on the screen. We will not now discuss what each of them does. Most are not interested and the video is not about such a detailed review. The most important thing you need to know is that with these settings you will be able to get the best possible image in a given PlayStation version game. Of course there are some nasty bugs and artifacts during the game. There is an issue with texture loading, however this mostly happens at the borders of the screen, mostly out of view. Also with this specific game of the PlayStation version, there were a lot of problems with sound. We use the sound plugin p.e.op.s. D-Sound Audio Driver 1.9. So let's run the game itself and look at the result we got. Let's go through the introductory scenes for a bit, look at the first seconds of the gameplay, and then I will load the save state, where you can more clearly see the problem with artifacts. And since you can see the image is pretty stable, it doesn't kick us out of the game, in most other cases when I tried to use numerous plugins with different settings, often the game just couldn't load at all. And now we have a pretty good image. I know you Raziel, you are worthy. What madness is this? What pitiful form is this that I have come to inhabit? Death would be a release next to this travesty. You did not survive the abyss, Raziel. I have only spared you from total dissolution. I would choose oblivion over this existence. The choice is not yours. Young yet, Raziel, you still retain many of your vampiric weaknesses. Let's now move on to the next PlayStation console emulator, DuckStation. I would say that this is the best PlayStation emulator at the moment. I won't do a deep review of it now, but soon I will shoot a video where I will go through most of its pros and cons. In this case, let's first look at the settings. BIOS just like all other emulators. execution mode. Here you can overclock the CPU speed for better frame playback. On different systems, this will work differently, and I do not guarantee that it will help in any way.
be sure to turn on VSync. Also linear upscaling will noticeably improve the appearance of 2D elements on the screen. In the graphics enhancement settings, I mainly use scale dithering, but in the case of Soul Reaver, the colors become too dark, so I use true color rendering here, which creates a very similar visual effect. A very important element of the image is widescreen hacks, which serves to prevent the image from being greatly stretched and distorted. Whether to enable it or not is entirely up to you. Also, if you really want to maximize the image quality, you can turn on various settings from the PGXP section. These settings often improve geometry rendering, but can sometimes lead to bugs. It is important to know that despite its superiority in relation to other emulators, Duckstation suffers a lot when playing a Soul Reaver game. The game itself in the original never had a good FPS and on this emulator the situation is even worse since we adjust everything so that the image is as good as possible. So we recommend experimenting with these settings you are looking at, Let's see what we got. Cain is deified. The clans tell tales of him. Few know the truth. He was mortal once, as were we all. However, his contempt for humanity drove him to create me and my brethren. I am Ra- I know you, Raziel. You are worthy. I think everything is clear is here, this? and in order not to make the what video too long and boring, this I will move on to the last and best version of the game. Dead. And so I present the RetroArch program. I am planning a more detailed review of it in the future to help you with all its settings, but for now I will show in brief how to run the Soul Reaver with the best settings. In RetroArch we use the Sega Dreamcast slash Naomi, Flycast, emulator. If you do not have it installed, you can go to the online update section, download the kernel, find the kernel we need and install it. If you already have it installed, I recommend updating kernels and kernel info files frequently. Then, of course, you will need to use the BIOS files, but I will teach you how to use them in the case of RetroArch in further videos. And so let's turn on the game. As you can see visually, everything looks much cleaner, better, Cain and more detailed. Deified. The Dreamcast version of the game the Soul Reaver itself is better than on the Sono PlayStation. Cain know the truth. He was mortal once. As were we all. However, his contempt for humanity drove him to create me and my brethren. I am Raziel, firstborn of his lieutenants. I stood with I know you, Raziel. You, you can see a worthy. clear 60 frames per second what which is very is stable this? and on a PlayStation what emulator it's almost impossible to get the same result. Inhabit? Death would be a release next to this travesty. You did not survive the Abyss, Raziel. I have only spared you from total dissolution. I would choose oblivion over this existence. The choice? Be born. The birth of one of Cain's abominations traps the essence of life.
Here are the further settings I use to emulate this game. You can of course experiment with your own. Many often mistakenly include XBRZ texture upscaling, but it is mostly not needed in 3D games. Widescreen hack again depends on preference. You can turn it on. You can turn it off. We have two options for using this technology here, I will show both. And it should be noted that if you use the first option, then the second should be disabled. You can see it all in an example. Thank you very much for watching this video. We will be adding tons of new content to our channel soon. Please like and subscribe if this video helped you. Have a nice time playing Soul Reaver.